Hello, good evening and welcome to Keel Hall, Keel University's conference and banqueting suite. Would you like to come on in with me and I'll show you what we're doing this evening? My name is Carly Ward, I'm the CEO and founder of the Yes Network and the main reason I set up the Yes Network is I was fed up of going to networking events and being the youngest person there. I wanted to meet other young people, other young entrepreneurs in a similar position to me um, so that I could speak to them, share ideas, talk about you know being in a similar situation and also meet other young people who have become successful as well so that I could understand you know how they did it and how we can work together to help each other. So I'm really excited that we're launching the Yes Network in Stoke and expanding nas nationally so that we can help as many young entrepreneurs as possible through our events. The events are only one part of the Yes Network. Um, we do lots of other things like mentoring, access to funding, um, helping with PR, access to high profile speakers, um, loads and loads of benefits of being a member of the Yes Network. Hi, we're on Racing, that's O-N-E-R. We're a custom clothing company for the motorsports industry and we're currently targeting the motocross industry as we speak. We're looking to branch out to other sports such as motocross, rallycross and other sort of motorsports industries. It's an online website uh, where people can go on and order uh, supplement products like protein shakes, creatine, um, stuff that can help them um, in the gym, uh, the training, etc. I met with Simon. Um, gave me a business idea and plan and um, just provided me with the, with the startup costs so I can get the, the business up and running. Money for setting up a website, um, so a large part of that's for that. Uh, and then I'll need money for stuff like um, I'll need some stock, um, carry some stock at home. Um, I'm also looking at doing uh, personal training where I'll visit people at the home, so I do home visits. So I'll need stuff like gym equipment um, to take with me. Fairly new, a few months old. Uh, it's a great business to be in. Uh, just recently come over from America. It's a health and fitness program, uh, weight loss, the park that's a welder by trade. Uh, I knew there was something better out there. I uh, wanted to start working for myself into, into my own business. Uh, it's going to be an opportunity to get the tools to do that. Uh, which I would never have had, you know, so it's given me a good opportunity. I'm Lily Magdal and I make handmade jewellery and gifts. Um, everything is handmade by myself. Um, I work closely with my clients to produce bespoke designs as well. Um, I've produced designs for bridesmaids with wedding jewellery um, and I am going to be launching a bridal range next year. The motivation for me is like it's all about lifestyle, it's all about change, it's all about what you want to on a day to day, day basis and what you need to do. If you wake up with one of them dreams that you want to progress and want to go a little bit further, you know, you've got to grasp that and take it. Sometimes it gets handed to you on a plate and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, my biggest advice that I would say to anybody is that if you've got any thoughts, you've got any dreams that you want to do, to take anything a little bit further, to progress something that you might have in your head, take that little bit of a gamble, get a little bit of advice progress a little bit further and you never know what can happen because honestly sometimes things do work out for the better. Blue steel. <laughs> for everybody in the room, when you have got such congruence of passion about your business, whether it be a product or service, let that come out when you speak to other people. Don't be shy. Push yourself, push your product, push your service. You've got a story to tell. You'll know from Jade and from Richard and their stories how important that is to get across. So everybody out there, tell your story. Create passion and let people know what you produce or what you market. Good luck everybody. A piece of advice that I would give is really take it back to the bare basics of finding out why you actually chose to launch your business in the first place. You know, there's always a story behind, you know, the great brands of today, whether that be Coca-Cola or John Lewis. And it's trying to find, 
your own narrative and your own brand narrative to actually tell people why you're achieving what you are achieving and then keep telling them that again and again and again. Like I keep saying, you know, great stories, they always begin with once upon a time, but very rarely do the greatest stories actually come to uh, the end. Shh. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's it. That's brilliant, thank you very much. Yeah. There's a very uh, famous quotation that pain will last for a minute, an hour, a week, or even maybe a year. But once it's actually subsided, something will actually take its place. But the true failure is if you quit. Because if you quit, then that pain will last forever.